Welcome, Hard Knocks Football League, hashtag HKF. It's your man, Mr. Beasel, on YouTube, a.k.a. Last Place the Unit, with Marvin Bland on YouTube, a.k.a. Team Dynasty. Chill. Our guest of the night is Mr. Chip and Bus. Clark Kent in the motherfucking building, holding yes. down. <laughs> P.O.P. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> P.O.P. I love you, mama. <laughs> yo, we're doing week six recaps. This is the week of, yo, can anybody defeat this motherfucking Machiavelli team, man? This nigga is six and oh. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I agree too. <laughs> so since I'm talking about Machiavelli, I'm going to start with your game. Uh, Machiavelli franchise versus Tampa 2. Machiavelli franchise is the victory, 104 to 102. Um, Matt Forte, third pick in the draft. 27 points. Third pick, right? Yeah, third pick in the draft. No, fourth pick. Was it? You had the third pick. I thought I had the... No, I had the fourth pick. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, 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 you still suck. <laughs> you still fucking suck. Yo, I really... Watching this pregame, I really thought this game was going to be closer, man. Um, But you pulled out the blowout win, man. Like, And you stayed undefeated. You know, Forte, 27... Rivers is killing for you, who you were about to trade, had 25 points. And Ben Tate with 19. Good, good uh, drop, uh, Mason. 40 points. That's crazy. Uh, the, way you're the, fucking last. <laughs> the way you're scoring, man, it doesn't look like you can be stopped. But we will see through, throughout the season. We have a lot of weeks left. Who's going to conquer Mount Freddy? Yes, that, that is the master question. Tampa 2. Yo, I am shocked by this outcome, man. I mean, besides Cam Newton playing for you and Demarius Thomas, nobody else, not even your bench, scored like more than 10 points. So, you know, I mean, you might have to, I, originally I said you might have to start Jeremy Hill, but now I heard he got benched. So, uh, hopefully you got somebody for this week because <laughs> everybody in your team is, is kind of not doing great, man. So, all right, next game. Next game, next game. This is sponsored by Trident. <laughs> Next game, uh, East New York Ravens versus uh, Devils Playground. Devils Playground gets the slim victory. Two-point win there by Devils Playground, man. Uh, leading scorer, DeMarco Murray. Um, Good trade. Nice, very nice trade. Devils Playground, man. Um, doing your thing, bro. People was bashing you in the beginning of the season. Uh, they thought that you were going to go on in 14, and <laughs> you're not at the top of the division. And yes. the mix, in the mix, in the mix. Well, we're tied. So, oh, um, Jesus Christ. All right, all right. <laughs> East New York Ravens, bro. Uh, leading scorer, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Giovanni Bernard, 21. Steve Smith, 17. I thought you had that game, bro. Um, I thought you had that, but Monday night game. This guy came in yeah. and snatched it, Mr. Monday Night. That's yeah, he is Mr. Monday Night, uh, yeah. He came in and took the game. From last year. One thing I can say about East New York, man, you left Joe Flacco on the bench 32 points. And that dude from Cincinnati, the wide receiver, oh, Mohamed Sa Sanu. Oh, Sanu, yeah. I would have thought that he was going to blow up like that this year. He yeah. had 18 on your bench. If you would have started him, you would have had the victory. Next week, good luck against Tampa 2. Uh oh, that's gonna be a hell matchup. <laughs> Next game, Team Dynasty versus Bone Breakers. Holy shit, I didn't put the score. Oh, <laughs> 77 to 67. 77 to 67. Andrew Luck, Mr. MVP Andrew Luck, with 23 points. Oh. A very close game. Luck 23, Jeffrey 13, the Pats D11. It's oh. all you needed to get this W. You're now in the middle of the pack. Leading in the in the division, and all you gotta do is keep getting those wins. And I, I will admit, I was the one that told him to to, to bench T. Y. Hilton. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave him the advice, and I know it, it was definitely the wrong decision. I should have not listened to him though, <laughs> man. I don't know why I listened to him. Who the hell listens to me? Man? <laughs> I didn't listen to Brian when he told me to to start Kendall right. And look at what he had, zero <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> I knew not to listen to Brian. Don't listen to me. <laughs> nah, but man, T. Y. Hillen, man, he's he's unpredictable, bro. Yeah, man, exactly. Bum ass nigga. <laughs> Bone break start him this week. Yeah, you have to, man. Especially with Victor Cruz. Yeah, you lost one of your star players, so yeah, 
definitely now time for your bench people to start coming in and killing. Bone Breakers, you are officially on a four-game losing streak. Yo, Bas <laughs> I gotta let him finish because he's gonna keep doing it all the time. <laughs> Besides Cutler and Oliver, nobody showed up. Only if you would have replaced your starting wide receivers with your bench wide receivers, things would have been a lot different because you had a lot of points on that bench with the wide receivers. But hope you hope you can uh, make it out this week, man. You know, we on that four game. I hope you can get out of that streak, basically, because that streak is really bad, man. No, so who does he play this week? He plays. Oh my God! <laughs> he I plays the Mike Valley franchise. Let's go, Bone Breakers! Do your thing. God, damn, that's bad, man. God. Let's go, Bone Breakers! And got the easy win right there. And you're 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 you're, you're underdog by twenty two points. Just let you know. But that's anyway, it. good luck. <laughs> All right, next game, Team Mason versus uh. H2O, the score was 121 Team Mason, H2O 91, the high scores for Team Mason. You had Adrian Foster with 25, Peyton Manning with 21, Peyton Edelman Manning. with 10, Greg Olson with 12, Michael Crabtree 10, Detroit defense 20, your kicker 15. Where the, where the, where, where is this shit coming from? <laughs> like, what is this shit coming from? That, that you got teams out. that can't even score fucking 60. And then you got teams fucking blowing up. Yo, you gotta fucking share the wealth, man. Come on, dog. That's right. And uh, H2O, man. Not, not your best work besides uh, Julius Thomas with 17. Arizona defense with 13. Gronkowski. Not Gronkowski. The kicker from New England with 16. That's the best kicker in the NFL. He's had 8. Like, but uh, other than that, more, right? your team didn't have enough to uh, pull out the win. Matt Ryan only had 12. You're starting QB. Andy Dalton on your bench with 18. Jesus. Uh, I mean, you, you you gave it a good shot, but unfortunately, you came up a little bit short. And uh, better luck next week. Yep. Next game. All right, oh, last man, but not, not my game. Last but certainly <laughs> not least. <laughs> Last play. Really? <laughs> uh, oh, Clark, Clark Kent versus the yeah. Union. Clark Kent gets the victory. Yeah. 68-65. Are you worth <laughs> clapping about, though? Uh, you heard the yeah, score? Like, your, top, your top score was uh, LaShawn McCoy, finally. The first pick showing up. Even though he only gave you 14, but hey. Man, I'll take it. I'll take it. Better um, than two. What can we say, Clark Kent? Man. Just squeak that one out on Monday night That's by right. three points, bro. Three Freddy, points. he made you happy. He you left happy. Colin Kaepernick on the bench with 28. Had you started him, you would have had no problems. And um, hey, my bench killed too. The unit. The unit, man. <laughs> What's going on <laughs> with the unit, man? Your bench definitely did kill, bro. Had you have started... Cameron and Anquan Bolden, you would have, you would have blew this guy out with his with his sixty eight points. He definitely beat him by more than sixty eight. He's averaging like sixty eight right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 right. But Ryan one one in five, man. What the hell, bro? Great what the hell is going on man. with this team? It's a great bro? You got him. You got a solid team, bro. Uh, Des Bryant, Larry Fitzgerald, Russell Wilson, it's just not Bradshaw, crazy. Charles. They just not all showing up at the same time. Exactly. But it's a team up for it. Yeah, to beat your ass. Next they week, did. man, good luck against Team Mason. Damn, we've been waiting for that little matchup. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, been going back and forth. Ruined, damn. You know, this so was going to happen. This week, I expect yeah. a lot of talk between y'all versus Let's on Twitter. See, be checking y'all Twitter and then y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It's all good. It's all good. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yo, since I don't have a rant today, I should, you know. Ooh. Now that I've been told, I, I should have a rant. Ooh. Except for Mason. You about to get this work. That's all I'm going to tell you. But uh, we're going to do the predictions. And this time, I'm going to uh, keep a score with everybody. We're just going to do who we think is going to win. So we're going to start with the game of the week. It's the 3-3 three and three Devils Playground versus the 3-3 three and three Team Clark Kent. That's right. Team Clark Kent is favored by three points. Damn, we might get another three-point win. Right. That's crazy. All right, I'll take them. So, so, obviously, you do think you're going to win, right? 
Of course. Okay. So. I already got a lead, so. Well, you, you know? got a good chance because he got no Monday night game, so. Oh, he doesn't? <laughs> no. Oh, lucky yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Monday night. Okay. I'll, take him, Monday I'll night. take him on Sunday night. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, wow. Who you got on that game? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Clark Kent with that because Decker and, and Gronkowski, 12 combined last night, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I doubt it. Well, I'm, I doubt, I doubt uh, Devil's Playground is going to have another comeback. The only reason I'm going to probably go with Devil's Playground is because he doesn't have his, he doesn't have McCoy this week. Which is very scary, and uh, I think well, you're going to start the Giants quarter, r- r- running back, right? Bishop Sankey, bro. Oh, yeah. I, I keep telling him about Sankey, yeah, so. He's good. Just because just you just don't have your, your leading star, I, I'm a little questionable. You might not pull off this win. My, my team is full of scrubs, but we still going to bust no, your no, ass, man. No, no. You did a nice pickup, too, um, that. that oh, yeah. That was, that, completely, so. that was a good pickup, too, yeah. He actually killed last week. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I just want to. I don't. I don't know how your team is going to um, produce without McCoy, but we'll see what's going to happen. We're going to have another stinker, but we're going to be good enough. <laughs> we're going to be just good enough to be true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, and, and Brady had twenty-two on Devil's Playground bench. Oh wow! And thankfully, you sat him. <laughs> <laughs> three and three, Tampa bet Tampa two versus three and three, E N Y Ravens. Uh, Ravens are favored by three points. What do y'all? Tampa 2, um... Mm. I'm going to go with Tampa 2 just because he has Cam Newton. And Cam Newton finally started running the ball. He had 32 last week. And he's if he can produce like that again, that gives him, gives him a great chance to win. So I'm going to go with Tampa 2. Mr. Dynasty? Um, I would love to go for Tampa 2, but... I think Ravens going to take that this week, man. He has been blowing up lately, and, um... He just like barely lost for a few games, so um, I think I think East New York Ravens is gonna blow up, man. It's Bernard Rogers, bro, Cobb, Benjamin, yeah. Steve Smith. True. Tough team to beat right there. Well, bro. Benjamin bro. might not play. He has concussion symptoms. Benjamin so. better play. He was in practice duty. <laughs> yeah. I have him in my other league, so he better play. Yeah, I got E.N.Y. Ravens, too. I think the combination... And he got Sanu in the bench in yeah, case yeah. he doesn't start. Benjamin doesn't start. I got the combination of Rodgers and Cobb coming together with Benjamin if he does play. And Steve Smith, who seems to be Flacco's favorite receiver. And let's see if Donnell, well, let's well, see if Donnell and Eli start c- coming together. Now that Cruz is not there. Torrey so. Smith uh, blew up last week. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. So you got to keep an eye on him. But we all three got the Ravens. All right, next game is the one in five, the unit versus the four and two team Mason. Uh, the unit is favored by eighteen points. Eighteen, <laughs> wow! Really? <laughs> Somebody uh, must be on the bye week. Man, wow! I'm no, gonna my, have to. I'm gonna have to go with, back. I'm gonna have to go with the unit <laughs> on this one. He got good matchups, man. Um, got good matchups, bro. Um, uh, Wilson against St. Louis, Charles against San Diego D, uh, Bradshaw, he always show up every week. Des Bryant always blows up against the Giants. I hate him. Um, Your word. That's yeah, it, man. Like um, other, I mean, Payne Manning and Aaron Foster, I mean, they've just been going dubs lately. So, I mean, it's going to be a good match, oh, but I give it to, to the unit. And they playing, um, yeah. They, who they play him? The 49ers. The 49ers. Wow. You got to do it. All right. Um, honestly, this is going to be a close matchup. I mean, the unit has Charles this week. If, if Charles can, can kill, then I'll give it to the unit. But otherwise, I'm going to go with Team Mason. Team Mason. Yeah, just because he's, he's been on like a hot streak that, that no, no nobody else has been on. So, I mean, he'll find a way to pull out the W. We'll speed through this. <laughs> The unit all day. You're going to get this work. That's it. <laughs> Two and four, H2O versus three and three, Team Dynasty. Team Dynasty is favored by nine points. Well, this is just state the obvious. Uh, <laughs> team Dynasty is going to take the, the, the W on this one. Wow. You already know Andrew Luck all day, every day. He's going to be the top. 
Top score again, number one quarterback. I don't even I don't even gotta look at this guy's team. Go ahead, sir. Alright, um yeah, just because uh just because of Andrew Luck and Lacey, I I'll give him a slight edge. Um but it looks like hopefully um hopefully H two O can come through and you make it competitive. You know, he's been having some real stinkers, but he also has had a lot of injuries, so um I mean it'll be interesting. Hopefully he's not gonna do nothing. Hopefully uh, <laughs> hopefully uh Hopefully we we'll, he'll you know his players will show up and uh, give our dynasty a, a good run for his money, but I'll 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 go with dynasty for the slight edge. Yeah, uh, same way with me. I, I got dynasty winning, but I I do see it kind of being a kind of close game because you know it, just in case the Atlanta Falcons go off, then I, I can see this thing being close. Then you got Julius Thomas for Peyton Manning. You know, so it might be really a close game, man. Like, it says... I give that. He got Julio Jones and Terrence Williams yeah, so, and Julius Thomas. So, yeah, so it might be... All right, and 2-4 and four Bone Breakers versus the undefeated 6-0 and Machiavelli franchise. Favorite, go Bone Breakers! Favorite 22 points by the Machiavelli franchise. God damn, 22. I hate to be down by that much. Um... I'm gonna give the edge to Bone Breakers, not because I hate Freddie, but um, I hate you, Freddie. Bone Breakers is—he's known to beat undefeated teams, so he—he mm. he did that last year against Devil's Playground. And, Hell um, yeah! Um, that was a good season. Man. Damn, the nigga had a ring with 23 points on the I bench. Give, I give the edge to um. Oh, I give the edge to Bone Breaker, even though he left Vereen with 23 on the Dang. bench. Oh yeah, that fucking touchdown. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I I'm gonna give it slight. I'm gonna give a slight edge to a. Uh, Machiavelli only because Rivers is, Rivers has been killing this year. BFF, Forte, BFF. hopefully Forte shows up. Um, maybe Bone Breakers. If you start Reed, you might have a better chance to overheat Miller. But other than that, I mean, oh, and Drew Brees. Why you got Drew Brees on the bench? And uh, well, I mean, we'll see. Hopefully, I mean, you can do some substitutions. Maybe uh, your projections will come up. But I'll give I'll give. Breeze haven't been killing I'll like give that. Machiavelli the slight edge by like two points. Breeze haven't been killing like that, though. I'll have to give it... Damn, it's tough. Um, you should look on his and take No, I know. No. Pause. I got the six, by the way. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Apple. Yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I might have to give it to Machiavelli because we don't know if... Bon- if if what? we don't know if King Keenan Allen's gonna play, we don't know. You know, Tory Smith has those up and down games. You know, sometimes he'll kill, and so Steve Smith gets the ball more times. I like the pickup you did with Oliver, though. That he's been killing. Like I, I give you much props right now. Scavenger. Yeah, I swear to God. But with the combination of Philip Rivers and Forte and Tate, which those three alone have been killing by themselves, and then the Seahawks defense, it's, it's gonna be tough. You know what I mean? And like, the Chargers D is going against the Kansas City, and Kansas, Kansas City, so we never know what's going to happen with that. I see it being closer than 22 points, though. Like, I, I think that was, that was, that's really going crazy, even though you've been killing people like that. But. <laughs> Hopefully when I don't play you, you don't score that many points. But. <laughs> nah, he's not. 140. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I got all the scores together. We're going to do this every week. And good luck to all the teams, especially you, Mason. You're about to catch the L. But... And See y'all next week. You guys can vote too. Do you want to hear Beezle's rant every week or predictions? Let us know in the in the comments well, below. Do you want to hear a rant from me? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or a rant from me. be the calmest oh. rant in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be more. He better have a rant next week after that after after that, that matchup with Mason. It'll be more like a like a like a state of address. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll catch you next week. Damn, we do nineteen minutes. All right, later. So <laughs> later, you're going down, DPG. Juices. Oh wow, Juices. he's going off. <laughs>